Welcome to my channel. In this video, I want to show you how you can use Confluence to show your project timelines like this. Normally, you would see this in Microsoft Project Plan, where you have the project and it's all the project tasks broken down like this across the timeline. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can do this in Confluence. So let's get started. So on the Confluence homepage, in this case, my Confluence space is called the Coffee Club. I need to create a page over here. So I'm going to say create a page. And it gives me a blank page. So here I'm going to give it a title called my my project timelines. And then I want to insert the Confluence widget called Roadmap. So I will go over here. And I can look for it either scroll down or I can just type in here roadmap and it comes up with the roadmap planner. So by default, it gives you two lanes, which are your project lanes, and for each project, what their tasks are. So the first thing I need to do is before I change this is to look at the timelines. I could show the timelines in months or weeks, and also I need to specify when does the time start. So in my case, I want this to start on the 3rd of February and I want it to show not that far out, but maybe end of March. And I want to show these in weeks. Okay, so this is my timeline for my two projects. After I have decided the timeline kind of uh, start and end date, I will go over here and I'll click on this default name called lane one and I'll click on this pencil and I will change this to project A. And I will change this one by clicking on this pencil and change this to project B. And then save. So I've got two projects. So now I wanna move this by just dragging it to say this project A started over here and I will shrink this bar a little bit back to say over here. And I'll click on this title, which is default to say, this is where the requirements started. And I click on this tick. And I will use the second one that was given to me and I'll put it right next to it afterwards, like here. And I'll reduce this a little bit as well. And I'll say this one, is when my development started. Click on the tick. And then I want to have some more. So I'll click on add bar. So it drops it right over here every time. You need to just drag it and move it next to it and click on it and change this to test testing. But the testing went longer than that. So I want to stretch that to say almost here. But then I want another bar. So I'll click on the bar. Again, it drops the same spot. I just need to drag it. A little bit closer. And again, I change this to deploy. Okay. So my project is deployed, but this is going to be deployed till end of March, around by here. Now for project B, it start, it's already in flight. So I will move this bar a little bit closer. So just make it a bit shorter. And I'll say over here, it is already in, for example, testing. And I will get another bar for this project B, but it was dropped at the top. So I just need to drag it in front of that one, like that. You can drag it the same place. Uh, you can drag underneath if you want, like this, to make it in parallel. But in my case, I just want it next to it. So I just put it there, click on that, and I say this is where it's going to be tested now, and it wants to be deployed. But the deploy will take all the most till over here. And then I also want to put another bar. Again, I drag it and I put it in front of it over here. It changes the color to whatever the color here was. 
and I'll change this to say after it has been deployed is the warranty. And the warranty will go all the way to end of March, like that. So this is how you show the timeline for Project A and Project B. And this is something you can move depending on what's the date today. So if the date today is almost March 7th, you can change this here. And I can also change this marker 1 to say, don't say marker 1, say uh, we are here. So that you can move this on a weekly basis to show people where you are in terms of the project timelines. So if it was here, I know project A is being tested and I know project B is being deployed. So this is how you do that. And once you're finished with that, you just say insert and then you just publish. Publish. And here you go. Here's your My Project Timelines, Project A, Project B. At the moment, as you can see, they are here and these are the timeline for the projects. And thank you for watching.